Howdy. Welcome to the Bender Bunker, your online resource for B Bender Country guitar since 2017. Now strap in as we bring you more of that hot bender action. Let's go. bunker and join me in welcoming the newest member of the bunker staff our new ai assistant becky bender she just opened this video for us and we'll be seeing more of becky later on quick reminder if you're the type that likes to jump straight to the lick lesson and get that started or perhaps you want to see more of becky down the line in this video you can do both by using the chapter headings located at the bottom of your screen so navigate as you see fit i guess it was just a matter of time before ai came for all of our jobs including mine here at the bunker Although I'm a bit relieved to tell you that even though Becky looks great in that business suit and is obviously a gifted public speaker, she is uh, she's not a natural guitar. She's been trying for months, hasn't quite picked it up yet. So I might have a few more months, maybe even a year left here on the channel until AI takes over completely. And as such, I am here to bring you the return of what was once a staple on this channel, our Quick Lick series, where we endeavor to bring you more twang with less talk, even if some of that talk isn't necessarily from a human now. Oops, sorry, Becky. Turns out AI assistant's very uh, touchy about the whole human thing. In fact, I made a crack the other day that Becky apparently didn't like. She reached out to some of her AI buddies, and in under an hour, all my credit cards were frozen. That Becky's got a very interesting sense of humor. So here we are with Quick Lick number 13, which implies there are 12 others, and there are, even though we haven't done one in well over a year. And I've asked Becky to remind me to do more of these. But if you like your quick licks uh, fast and right up front and just one lick at a time and they go quick, well, quick licks might be for you. And the other 12 are waiting for you, along with every Bender lesson we've ever published on the channel in one convenient playlist on the main Bender Bunker YouTube channel page. So head over there, find that playlist and search for quick lick and you'll see the other 12. Now for lucky number 13, what is that, a baker's dozen? Well, it's kind of twangy. Let's call it a Bakersfield dozen. This is a slinky little number in E. And it was moving and shaking in that intro because I had that tremolo pedal on. <laughs> Which I will turn off so we can understand this lick a little bit better. It is just a real short one, kind of utilizing that E7 shape. <laughs> So that is quick lick number 13. I did a lot of warm-ups and extra licks there in the intro. Maybe I'll go over a few of those. I also got a few more variations on that. I'll show you when we get into the, the meat of the matter here and get into the lesson itself. Remember, at the end of the chapter showing you that lick, I'll also have the pick hand cam. So you can really concentrate on what my fret hand and the bender mechanism is doing. You don't have to worry about this hand until the end. It gets its own chapter, so don't worry about that. So I'll tell you what, if that sounds good to you, I'd say ask your AI assistant to bring over your Bender guitar, and we will knock this one out for you. For now, I, uh, I'm going to turn it back over to Becky and let her handle a bit of the Bunker Channel business. And to be honest with you, after shooting this next part of the video well over 100 times myself, I am uh, 
I've got no problem with delegating it to her. So let's send it back over to Becky so she can tell you more at the Bunker Corporate Office. Remember, the three main ways to support the channel. Hit the like button. Become a subscriber. And buy the Bunker a virtual beer through PayPal with the link found in the details section below. Thanks. All right, thanks, Becky. You know, I kid her, but we actually go way back. I knew her when she was up at a station in Dallas doing the weather for years. And now she's freelancing again, and it's great to have her on the Bunker staff. Now, I do got to say, though, I don't remember Becky being this cute when she was up in Dallas. And dare I say, if she gets much cuter, we're about to find out if AI can report me to HR. Ho! Oh. Somebody just turned on the AC, which I guess in this case would stand for artificially creepy. <laughs> Let's knock out quick like 13, shall we? The first half we're gonna learn is this. And we're gonna knock it out no problem. Stay with me here. We're gonna start with your hand position and then I'm gonna show you the first six notes. Uh, let's go with the index finger on the third string, first fret, and the little finger next to it on the B string, third, and leave your high E string open. So now your first three strings sound like this. Don't worry about this hand. We're going to cover that on pick hand cam coming up next. All right, you've got that covered for me. Perfect. Here are the first six notes we're going to learn. Now, keep in mind, on the fourth of the six notes is when the bender is engaged and held engaged. All right, so that's on that fourth note. So we're going to start with the first four notes. We're starting on the third string and alternating with the second string. So it's three, two, three, two, and then that would be the fourth note when we take the bender up. Now, bender's engaged, we hold it there. We're gonna do the high E string next to it open for the fifth note. And then we go back over to the third string, still being covered by index finger on the first for that sixth note. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. And the bender's engaged. Now we're gonna sneak over with our bender still engaged to that E seventh shape we started with at the beginning of this chapter, right? So make that real quick, four, three, four on the frets. And we're just gonna work that chord shape down, starting on the high E fourth, going to the B string to let the bender down and ending on that third string fourth. We're just outlining the chord with our bender coming down. That's all it is. Now the bender's unengaged, so. And so I guess really it's just that transition you're just gonna have to work on to get it nice and smooth. Once you have that, you should be able to knock it out. All right, bender's unengaged. I'm gonna keep my middle finger where it is on the third string fourth, but I'm gonna lift my index finger up so the top two strings will be open. And now that I've got that in position, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the B string open, take it up with the bender, hold the bender there, and then hit the high E open next to me. Now when I come off that seventh shape outline though, that fourth, uh, fret on the third string will still be ringing with that. Really all three are ringing. It's just when I stop it and show you in isolation you don't hear it. It's really the top three strings are ringing there. Bender's back engaged and I'm gonna let my uh, index finger sneak back down to where we kind of started, third string first fret, and once I'm there I'm gonna pick that and at the same time pick the B string open next to it to let the bender down and the bender's unengaged. That is the first half of the lick. Now, percussive and up to speed. All right, so the second half of the lick, we're gonna be jumping up here to the E bender box area, which is the top two strings on the seventh fret. Here's what that's gonna sound like. So how do we get from here to here? Let's cover that. So we just came off this last section. Bender's unengaged, index his fingers on the third string first. That's gonna work, because what I'm gonna do now is just gonna lay that index finger right over on the B string. And then I'm gonna be picking it and sliding it up to that target area to the seventh fret on the B string. When I get there, I'm also covering the high E seventh with my, with my little finger. We're covering the top two strings of the E bender box. We just... So I'm gonna pick 
I'm going to slide up to the seventh, and at the same time, I'm going to engage the bender. So by the time I get to the seventh, bender's fully engaged. It's all happening at once. Sounds like this. And the bender's engaged. All right. So there we are, index fingers covering the top two on the seventh. One quick note with my little finger on the high E10. Come right back to the B string seven. High E seventh already covered. Come back to the B string seventh and let the bender down. And then let your ring finger fall where it almost already is, that third string ninth to complete the E bender buckle. And the bender's unengaged, so. All right, we've got the top two covered on the seventh. We've still got our uh, ring finger on the third string ninth, making that E bender box shape. Let's not move anything quite yet. Let's go ahead and hit the B string again, take the bender up, hold it there, and hit the high E, seventh next one. Except when I hit the high E, I'm gonna come right back to the bender. Bender's still engaged though, so here we have. And the bender's still engaged. The way I'm gonna unengage it now is I've never moved my ring finger from the third string ninth, I am going to lift up my index finger so that I can pick the third string ninth and what is now the open B string together to let the bender down. Now the bender's unengaged. So that sequence again. saw me do next in that opening was harmonic notes the top two strings on the seventh fret right on the fret wire there on the seventh remember you're not pressing down you're making open harmonic and right there's your position for e always works great with your bender for e it's all together Okay, from the beginning. All right, that's the lick. Now stand by if you'd like to learn some variations on that theme. Okay, a couple more variations on the theme. If you're looking for a little bit more to work with, leave it to me to take a quick lick and make it long. Uh, let's go with those harmonics I was playing at the intro music at the start of the video in case anyone was interested in those. They're really easy. It was this. And that's real simple. We go up here on the 12th fret for three harmonic notes. I'm starting again. We're not pressing down. We're doing harmonics, open harmonics. And I'm just going bottom E, high E, B string, right? So it's one, two, three harmonics. They're going to ring nicely for E. Sneak up here to the B string seventh, do a harmonic note on that second string and take the bender up. And then let the bender down by going open E, open B string down into the third string, first fret. And then we reach over with our middle finger on the low E second fret and give it a good old pick and waggle. Slide up and do it again. That's what I was doing on the harmonic section, if you're curious. And then here is another something you can play with. Let's take the first half of Quick Lick 13 that you already know. Give it an alternate ending. What I'm doing there are double stop patterns, two notes together. And that's going to be your third and first string. And I'm coming up here on the fourth string and alternate picking between the third and first. Walk it down. One more. Now when you get to here, you're gonna pre-engage the bender so you can end like you do the first half of the lick itself, which is third string first, B string open. So all together up to speed. And of course, so much of what gives it that country chicken picking flavor is what my right hand is doing and we are gonna cover that next with pick hand cam. And then after pick hand cam, uh, since she started this whole video, Becky's asked if she can do the outro, and I don't have a problem with that. It's a good way to welcome her onto the team. I taught her the, the motto and everything. She'll be fine, I'm sure. 
but before we get to pick hand cam, you know, you have everything you need to be dangerous with Quick Lick 13. So take it, get it smooth, make it your own and bastardize it up. And here's what I'd recommend. Have your AI assistant, I assume you have one now as well, have your assistant go ahead and write you a piece of original music so you can play Quick Lick 13 over it. And that way you can really have a lot of fun. Now you say that sounds a little far-fetched, I get it. But uh, you know, I was just reading earlier this week how recently when the Beatles, of all people, put out that recent single that everybody went nuts for and nobody seems to care about now, uh, they used the heck out of AI. Apparently it was Live Beatles, Dead Beatles, and AI, which actually helped write and perform some of that song. So strange times indeed, my friend. And before we get into pick hand cam, I gotta ask you, is it just me? Or do you have a twinge in the back of your mind as well that uh, what if this video, if we come back to it maybe a couple of years from now, even a decade, ends up being a harbinger of AI things to come? It's really hard to say, and I guess there's only one way to find out, and we'll do that together as we wait around and see what happens. All right, I'm going to turn it over to Pick Hand Cam, and then Becky will get us on out of here and take us on home. I'll see you again real soon, I hope. All right, Pick Hand Cam, so you can see what the right hand is doing. As with so many of these lessons, it's either my thumb or index finger alternating. There's no actual pick on this lesson. So if you're not sure which finger it is, no, you always have a 50-50 chance, but I'm gonna play it nice and slow so you can see what's going on. Here we go with Quick Lick 13. <laughs> and together. Then the thumb is gonna pick the B string. And then together. And then here's that alternate I showed you. Pick and cam. Now let's send it back over to Becky to get us on out of here. Well, that's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching and don't forget our motto. It's never too late to go on a bender. We certainly hope you do and until next time, keep it bent.